Good morning students. In our today's class, we will start a new lesson in civics. That is, lesson number 4, Urban Local Government Bodies. In the previous chapter, we have studied the nature of the local government bodies in rural areas. In this chapter, we will learn something about the local government institution in the urban areas, that is in the city areas. Now, these include, there are three of them, they are the Nagar Panchayat, the Municipal Council and the Municipal Corporation. Now, as we know, our country has a large number of towns and cities and they are growing rapidly. Villages are growing into towns, towns into cities and cities into metropolises. Metropolises means larger cities. The rural areas Neighboring cities are also getting transformed. That means slowly the villages are also getting transformed. Now next we will see that the what are the facilities and the problems in the cities. Okay, so first we will see the facilities. First one is opportunities for industries and business. Now Business and industry grow and expand in the urban areas as they get more people to work in industries. Okay. Then the next second one is expanding service sector. Expanding service se sector means getting more and more job opportunities. Then the third large scale opportunities for jobs now this happens why because of the expanding service sector and the growth of industries people migrate to urban areas that means people from the villages are coming to urban areas for good jobs or for better jobs so that they can earn more income then the fourth one is availability of facilities for entertainment art culture etc now we know in cities we have better facilities for entertainment like theaters malls parks zoos museums are there there are art galleries also where people can spend their time to enjoy themselves. Okay? Now, let us see the problems faced by the people living in the cities. Now, the first one is shortage of housing, insufficient space. Now, how does this happen? This happens because of the growing population and because of large number of people living together in one house and then it becomes very difficult to adjust themselves they are not able to adjust then the third one is traffic congestion this is a major problem in the urban areas and in the cities it leads to wastage of fuels and also causes air pollution. Then the fourth is problem of disposal of waste. Now there are no open grounds to dump the waste. As the population is increasing, there is no, there is insufficient space. So there are no proper grounds to dump the waste. Then the next, increasing crime. Now this happens because of the growing population and also because of lack of jobs and then people get into wrong means of earning and then the crime increases like chain snatching, robbery and even murders. And the last one is 
a large proportion of population in slums as the population is increasing in the slums right in the huts there also the standard of people of living is very poor and they they are even uneducated so these were the facilities and the problems in the cities okay we'll move to the next point that is nagar panchayat the villages that are in a process of becoming towns have a nagar panchayat now as we seen before we see some areas which are neither fully rural nor fully urban okay in such areas the local government body is the nagar panchayat who takes care of these people where it is neither a village neither a city as with local bodies election to a nagar panchayat are held <coughs> every 5 years okay elections of this nagar panchayat are held every 5 years the elected members choose a president and a vice president so their election is held after every 5 years they choose the president and a vice president from among themselves then the next point is the municipal council now the municipal council is the form of the local government body for small cities okay election to the council are held every 5 years so here also the elections are held after every 5 years the elected representative function as corporators they choose a president from among themselves the president of the municipal council is the chairman of all its meetings so whenever a meeting is taken place the president helps the meeting he controls the working of the council and keeps a watch on the financial administration of the council okay all the related to money matters like all the different types of tax that the president takes over now in the absence of the president the vice president looks after the work of the council now if the president is not there then the vice president takes care of all this work now all the all money matters related to different tax are seen by the president and the vice president like the different tax related to property tax water tax education tax tax on markets grants from state government all these money related matters are seen by the president and the vice president then the next is there are some functions that are binding on the council that means there are some things that should be seen by the municipal council they have to take care of certain things they are known as obligatory functions okay for example what all work they have to see the municipal council see it's given over here lighting or proper streets providing drinking water public hygiene sewage disposal registration of birth death marriage etc okay so all these things has to be taken care by the municipal council now apart from these functions like the municipal council tries to provide additional facilities to the people so they provide some other additional facilities also the municipal council they are known as the discretionary functions now what are the additional facilities the municipal council have they are planning new public roads if the roads are broken down they make new roads and acquiring the necessary land improving the condition of slums that means people living in the huts 
they are improving their condition these are their additional facilities creating public gardens and parks okay making gardens or making parks providing secure shelters for cattle making shelter for the animals are some of the discretionary function of the municipal council now what is discretionary the additional functions what should, what the municipal council do okay the next point is the third one that is municipal corporation the local body that provides different services to the people in big cities is called municipal corporation now previously we seen the municipal council that, that was a form of small cities now the municipal corporation is the different services provided to the people in big cities that's called municipal corporation the first municipal corporation was established at mumbai the total numbers of members in a municipal corporation is determined so as to be in proportion to the population of the city the elections to the corporations are held every 5 years so we seen in all the different corporations the elections are always held after every 5 years the elected members are known as the corporators means the person who is elected they are called as corporators now here they elect a mayor and a deputy mayor okay there are people in different councils with different names so here they elect a mayor and a deputy mayor from among them self the mayor is considered to be the first citizen of the city that means the head who takes care he presides over all the meetings of the corporation the general body meeting of the corporation is the place where the important issues regarding the problems of the cities are a city are discussed so there is a meeting where the mayor bees and all different problems of the cities are discussed over there the decisions regarding the development of the city are taken there that means if there is any road which has to be made again so all the decisions are being taken in that general body meeting of the municipal corporation now here also there are different sources of revenue which the mayor takes over okay which he has to see they are the house tax property tax water tax profession tax entertainment tax raising loans state government grants so all are these uh, money related money related matters which are taken care by the mayor now next let us see the committees of the corporation now there are different types of committees where there are different people taking care of the committees now what are the committees let us see the corporation carries out its work through different committees committees a group of people are appointed to take care of different things now what are they some of the important committees are education committee health committee transport committee etc so these are some of the important committees where people are appointed and they have to take care of this particular committee now the next is administration of the corporation and the municipal commissioner is the head of the administration of the corporation he is responsible for implementing the decisions taken by the corporation for example if a corporator takes the decision of putting a ban on the use of plastic bags then the actual implementation of this policy is done by the commissioner so the municipal commissioner is always the head of the corporation he is responsible for taking all the decision if he says that this thing has to be done it has to be done okay it has to be implemented he also prepares the annual budget okay money related thing the budget he prepares the municipal commissioner of the corporation and remains present for the general body meeting so the mayor and the municipal commissioner 
uh, always be be there at the general body meeting to take care of things which are related to money okay now we'll see do you know now the proportion of women in the total population is nearly half yet very few women are seen to are seen to take part in the working of the government women handle issues like food energy water every day as a part of their daily routine but they had no say in the decision regarding these issue means regarding all these things the women used to not take part before previously a woman takes care of the water in the house but she did not participate in de dealing with the water issues she takes care of the water in the house like filling of water but she does not take care a uh, part in the issues what are happening related to water with 50% reservation for women in the local bodies they now have got an opportunity to resolve important issues now slowly as we know that women are also getting opportunities to discuss on certain issues now let's see the next point that is the local government bodies now as we seen there is a nagar panchayat a municipal council and the municipal corporation now what are the strength of the members now in the nagar panchayat there are minimum 9 members and maximum 15 members whereas in the municipal council there are minimum 17 members and maximum 38 members where and in the municipal corporation the total number of members is proportionate to the population and let us see the office bearers in all these three bodies in the in the nagar panchayat we have the president and the vice president who takes care in the municipal council we have the president and the vice president and in the municipal corporation we have the mayor and the deputy mayor who takes care of these local government bodies now we will see the officials okay the higher person now in the nagar panchayat there is a executive officer in the municipal council there is a chief officer and in the municipal corporation there is a commission let us move to the next that is do you know now what is meant by reservation and why is it necessary out of the total numbers of seat to which people elect their representatives in a gram panchayat panchayat samiti and zila parishad municipal council and municipal corporation some seats are reserved for members of the scheduled caste scheduled tribes and backward class of citizens so there are some seats which are reserved for the poor people or the poor uh or the backward classes like the scheduled caste the scheduled tribes okay only members from the specific category can be elected to the reserved seat this is known as reservation of seats nowadays there are these particular reservation of seats in the schools and the colleges also for the students to get admission also out of the total number of seats half of the seats are reserved for women okay half of the seats are reserved for women reservation is necessary as it allows the deprived section of the society that means the lower the poor people also to get education and women also to take part in the working of villages and cities and to participate in the decision making process we seen first that the women were not appointed to take any decision but now slowly they are also taking part in the decision making process in a democracy it is important that all the people get an opportunity to participate in all the process okay so in our country it is necessary that we should always take care of the uh, of the uh, not only men you should should be but also women should take part okay now the next is your homework the first question is the first city in india to have a municipal corporation is 
dash and the second one is name the various committees of the municipal corporation so here we end with your chapter we will learn the next chapter in the next video thank you for listening children goodbye take care